Donald Trump Jr. on Thursday mocked efforts by liberals to confront racism after his own purportedly racist messages were released as part of a lawsuit involving his friend. Now that's like the easy button of the political left, like everything's racist. Humor is racist. Life is racist. You can't have a comment with, that's not racist, the former president's son said on his triggered podcast. Trump Jr.'s guest, Project Veritas founder James O'Keefe, brought up the topic of racism, claiming that Washington Post journalist Carol Lenning, the author of a 2010 report that O'Keefe was charged over allegations he tampered with a U.S. senator's office phone, called him a racist. I was so shocked and appalled by that, O'Keefe said, noting the article was subsequently corrected. Neither the article nor the correction describes O'Keefe as a racist. According to Lenning's 2010 report, O'Keefe, 25, became a conservative hero last year after he and fellow activist Hannah Giles secretly videotaped several regional offices of the Association of Community Organizations for Reform Now, ACORN, while posting as a pimp and a prostitute. O'Keefe's videos showed ACORN staffers appearing to offer them housing help and advice on concealing their purported prostitution business. O'Keefe pleaded guilty in 2010 to entering the federal office of then-U.S. Senator Mary Landrieu, Democrat Louisiana, under false pretenses. He was sentenced to three years probation, 100 hours of community service, and a $1,500 fine. I think that Carol Lenning's implication was, she's the reporter at the Washington Post, that, you know, Acorn registers black people to vote, O'Keefe told the former president's son. James O'Keefe investigated Acorn. Therefore, James O'Keefe doesn't want black people to vote. 